Delicious. Hi, I'm Tom Spellman with Dave Wilson Nursery, and I'm here today in Turlock, California at Sipaneri Farms. This is Dina Sipaneri, one of the owners, and we're picking Fantasia nectarines today in their orchard. And they're just absolutely beautiful, large size, wonderful quality, and they will be distributed through your fruit stand. Yes, and farmers market. And farmers market. So, Dino, uh, what are some of the local farmers markets that you sell at? We well, locally we we don't just our fruit stand here locally, and then we sell in Concord and Danville and Pleasanton, in the Bay Area, and San Francisco. We go to about about 20 farmers markets. During, oh, nice during and the week. So the nice thing about farmer's market production is this fruit is ripe. It's ready to go. Yes. So it's not like you're going to buy this fruit in the market and, and you could knock somebody out with it if you hit them in the head. This is good quality fruit where you can pick today and sell tomorrow. Yes. So, you know, farmer's markets are a wonderful way if you don't have all the varieties that you want in your home orchard and you're looking for something to supplement what you're growing on your own, the farmer's markets are a great way to get tree ripened, fresh picked varieties almost on a daily basis. They're all over California and the Western United States and, and the quality of the fruit is, is excellent. So Dina, tell me, um, tell me what some of your favorite varieties are. Well, I do love the Fantasia and the reason for that is they're a free stone and a lot of the nectarines yellow nectarine varieties are clings so a lot of people enjoy the these because they're easy to make the jam and make pies out of because the pit comes away from the flesh easily and I love old Henry yellow peaches they're one of my favorite they're an old time favorite I think for most people it's an old variety and white peaches um, I, I just love those a lot too <laughs> I, I think um when it comes to the differences between some of the white flesh varieties and the yellow or orange flesh varieties, it seems like most of the, the white flesh varieties that we're, that we're producing now are more sub-acid. Right. So they don't, they don't have the, the sugar to acid balance or the, or the higher acid flavor. So they're just, they're very, very sweet. They're very high sugar and right. very sweet. And that's, that is certainly a, a flavor that a lot of the market is looking for now. Yeah. Um Without that acid in it, you don't get that true flavor though of the nectarine or peach flavor. So it really depends on the person what they prefer. Well, I, I totally agree. And, and I'm, I, I'm not a big fan of sub-acid fruit. I really like the varieties that have more of a balance or even more toward the acidic side. And I guess that's why Fantasia is absolutely one of my favorite varieties. It has that nice balance to it and that, that flavor. It, when you take a bite, you get that that hint of that spicy texture that, that it has and just tastes like what a fresh nectarine should taste like. Yeah, and I always tell my customers too, it's really personal preference if you like the yellow versus the white, but if you tend to have stomach problems, if acid tends to upset your stomach, I um, tell them they should go ahead and try the white fruit because it's milder on your stomach when you eat it. That's a great point. And, and a lot of people are fighting with, you know, acid reflux issues or things now and they're, and they're looking to keep their diet low in acid so that's a great point for all those sub acid varieties and and it is an acquired taste you know I know a lot of people that uh, don't like acid fruit at all and they'll, they'll take a bite out of oh no I don't like that and you give them a you give them a, a an arctic J or something like that and they take a bite oh yeah this is this is where it's at you know yeah. so it, it is certainly a personal preference issue so Dina it's a little warm out here and uh, we've tried some some nice fresh fruit already what you say we uh, Go back up to your farm stand and take a look at what you guys are selling today. Okay, that'd be great. So Dina, here we are at your fruit stand on Gear Road in Turlock. And you guys are, everything that you're displaying here is all fruit that you're growing here on the farm. Yes. So uh, tell me a little bit about what we're looking at. We've got a couple of Pluot varieties here. What's this uh, nice red one? Flavor Jewel. Flavor Jewel, uh, a great variety for the month of July has a pretty long hang time on the tree. Yes. <laughs> really nice flavor. I think that's that's always been a nice commercial variety. And this um, looks like one of the dapple varieties. What what yes. is that? Th that's a dapple fire. It's one of the earlier uh, ones. Oh yeah, that's a really really nice variety. It's done really well uh, to some of the commercial growers. Nice kind of a model 
reddish color, speckled reddish color inside. It's got red flesh. Yeah, wonderful. And then you mentioned that you have, you're growing, uh, what, seven different varieties of the saucer donut style peaches? Yes. So these are great, and I notice you've got a beautiful display of white flesh varieties and yellow flesh varieties. I think these are, are these named varieties, or are they some of the, um, the numbered selections that we have? Um, that we released six, seven years ago. Yes, um, there's, as far as I know, I don't know if they've named them yet, but when I planted them, they were numbers. So, and I planted these uh, six years ago when they were just getting popular. Yeah, when, they were, when we were just introducing some of these. The size is, is nice, the color is beautiful. I love the look of that, of that orange flesh variety. Everybody associates the saucer peaches as white flesh, but I think we have as many yellow and orange flesh varieties as we do white flesh varieties at yeah. this point. And they're they're just as popular. They're uh, very flavorful too, they have a lot of they're very good. Yeah, and you know, like we were talking out in the field on the, the sub acid to acid, the white flesh varieties seem to be more on the sub acid side. Yes. And the yellow flesh varieties or golden varieties seem to be a little bit more of a of a balance. But not high on this. No. Still very, very uh, intense flavors, very nice flavors. This is a beautiful display. We've got some nectarines and peaches down here. That's a good looking uh, white flesh nectarine. What, what variety is that? We have to look it up. So as we get into the more conventional peaches and nectarines, we've got a couple of white flesh varieties here. Um, this is one of those beautiful Arctic series nectarines, I'm sure. Yes, Arctic Queen. It's um, one of the favorites here at the fruit stand. That's a great variety. What a wonderful flavor. And and um, one of the white flesh peaches is that um, Snow. Snow. Snow Beauty. Beauty. Yeah. 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 And uh, here's Fantasia nectarine that we were looking at when we were out uh, in the field just now when they were harvesting. I, th I just can't get over the uh, diversity of selections that you have in your farm stand. I mean, we, you know, you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten varieties probably just on this table. So you guys have done a wonderful job of uh, having, you know, a full spectrum of fruit available to the consumer that uh, comes in if they want, you know, a donut or a, or a regular sized peach or a plum or a pluot or you guys uh, have, to have it all. So what? What are some of the other things that you're growing on the farm here that you market? Well, we have tomatoes, vine ripened tomatoes, and then our fresh veggies, uh, summer squashes, and um, those have been really popular, and cucumbers and okra. And then we're just starting the melon season right now, um, and that's getting into full swing. And people just love all the fresh fruits and vegetables that they can get at the farmer's market, at the fruit stands, because it's tree ripened or vine ripened, which adds a lot more flavor to your produce than I think people realize, so come on out and give it a try. Not only flavor, but you're at, you know, you're you're all packed with all the the nutrients, all the phytonutrients and all the the beneficials that are in that fruit are there fully supplied when that fruit is a peak right? Yes, so that's true. That's something you might not always get with a, a market quality fruit. And I know one of the things that I love that you guys do is I drive by here quite a bit during the month of October. You guys have a pumpkin patch that is second to none. Oh, thank you, yes. I mean, you do a fantastic job the, with all the different types of squash and, and pumpkins that you have. I mean, it just looks like a carnival or something with yeah. all, all those beautiful colors out there. I do love the pumpkin season. I love seeing all the children come out and get so excited about seeing all the different pumpkins because a lot of times you don't see all the different varieties in the grocery stores. So it's fun to see the different squashes, hard squashes for the winter, and uh, what you would eat back in you know the 1800s, what they would put on their tables. Yeah, some of the old heritage varieties yeah. that you don't, you just don't find in the in the grocery store. No. So it's really really neat to see those. Well, Dina, thank you so much for spending a little bit of time with me today. Uh, I really appreciate it, and I just love what you guys are doing. Thank, thank you. you so much for coming out. Delicious. Delicious.